Hello everyone, welcome to episode number 29 of my horror game tutorial series. So in this episode I'm going to show you how to add a health script to our enemy ghoul and I'm going to show you how to hurt the enemy. So let's go into the play mode and have a look at what we're going to do. So if I walk over to the safe and pick up the pistol and now if I make some distance between me and the enemy and I shoot him, you can see he um, flinches for a bit and then if I shoot him again, he disappears. So yeah, this is everything I'm going to show you in this episode and I will see you after the intro. Okay, so now we're inside of the Unity Editor and in this episode we're going to give our little guy right here in the house script. So let's start and right click in the scripts folder and create a new C-Shell script and we're going to call this one enemy underscore health and then open it up and if you have Visual Studio already open just click on reload all and now should be somewhere here and if it's not it's on the right side it may be like this then you have to open up the assets scripts and then find the enemy house script it's right here and then open it up from inside of visual studio and let's start with the script <clears throat> it's actually quite simple so let's start first of all we need a public integer and this integer is our max health that's equal to 100 and then we have a private integer called current health <coughs> and the difference is that we can define a maximum health amount and we have a current health. So that means that if we have, for example, an enemy that can buff the other enemies, then we can modify the current health value and we don't have to modify the max health value. Okay, so let's first of all assign the current health to the max health. So we say current health is equal to max health. Okay, so now the next thing we need is a reference to the animator. So we have a private animator animate for, where is it? Here it is. So private animator animator. And I think that's everything. Yeah. So now let's assign the animator. So animator is equal to get component animator and then this. So we use this to check if we are hit. And if we are, we can play, we can set the trigger for the is hit so we can play the hit animation. So we don't need an update, so delete it. And instead we're going to need a public void and it's going to be called take damage. And it's going to take a parameter and this parameter is an integer and the integer is called damage or underscore damage to make clear that this is a parameter. And now we have an open and close bracket. And in here we are simply going to say current health minus equals damage, underscore damage. And then we are also going to check if current health is less or equal to zero. Then we are going to call a function. So call die method and let's write this method. So it's going to be called void die 
and inside of here we're going to kill the enemy so we could for example we could play an animation we could instantiate a rectal or what we're going to do in this episode we're just going to destroy the enemy so destroy game object and make sure it's game object with a lowercase g because otherwise the script won't work and you will have a nasty error so let me comment on this so that you don't think this is like actually instantiating a rector so it's going to be destroy the enemy game object okay and inside of here we are going to call it so we are just going to say destroy um, I don't need this word, I mean die of course, so die. Okay and now the last thing we need is we have to play the animation, so right under the current health minus equals underscore damage, we're going to say animator, animator dot set trigger. and we called the trigger let's have a look animator we are, uh, we have called it is hit so we're going to put it in here so animator dot set trigger is hit and semicolon and now before we can actually do uh, anything with the script we first have to go to the pistol script and inside of here it's in the void shoot you can see we already have a comment that says damage the enemy and we say debug.log we hit an enemy yeah so we don't need that anymore so delete it and instead we are going to grab the uh, enemy health component from our enemy so to do that we are going to write hit dot collider dot compare attack ah sorry not compare attack we already did that I'm, I want to write hit.collider.getComponent because we want to get a component and in this case it's the enemy health so just write enemy health and then open and close brackets make sure that you have those because those are important and then point and we are going to call the void take damage so we are going to write take damage and now we have to put in a damage and as you can see we already set up a damage variable so we are just going to pass it in so take damage damage and semicolon and now this is working so let's go back to unity and go back to the scene and click on our little guy right here and let's add the component just click on the add component button and search for enemy health and put this on there you could also of course drag and drop it onto the enemy um, and we also have to make sure that he is tagged as an enemy which he isn't so click on the tag and then tag him as enemy and now if i start the game oh yeah uh, right i forgot um go to the canvas save, uh, I mean the canvas player hat, and we're going to delete this. Right click on it, and we're going to create an UI, and it's going to be an image, and just leave its position at 0, 0, 0, and put the width and height to 10. And now, if we start the game, we have a little crosshair in the middle, so we're going to use this for debugging, uh, debugging purposes because right now we don't have an actual crosshair and, and this guy is annoying me and I want to be able to see where I shoot, right? So let's grab the gun, so grab it and let's have some distance to the enemy and now if I aim at him and click you can see he plays the hit animation and gets hit and if I shoot him another time he disappears. 
So right now this looks pretty boring because the enemy just disappears. He, it's like poof and he's away. Um, in the next episode or so, or in an extra episode, uh, we can change that. We could instantiate a ragdoll, for example, or we could play a death animation. I think the ghoul came with a death animation. Or we could go like full Doom Edition and just blow this guy's head off and everything will be full of blood, so you can uh, decide so. If you want to see one of those things, just leave them in the comment section below. Okay, so that's actually it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. As always, um, if you have any further questions, leave them in the comment section below. And um, yeah, so don't forget to smile and until next time, bye guys.